are mm -hmm. suffering emotional and physical stress. British-born Michael Fole and his two Russian colleagues have been told to conserve their strength while they wait for new equipment to arrive. It won't reach them for 10 days. Our Moscow correspondent Julian Mannion reports. In the crippled Mir space station, the crew are still working in darkness. They have only short breaks for sleep, which they take in turns. The temperature is higher than usual, and the air is humid. In a conversation with ground control, Dr. Michael Fole asked for batteries and bulbs for the handheld torches that the men now depend on. We need spare light bulbs for the flashlight, because uh, we're working in the dark so much. OK, copy that. The launch of a rocket carrying emergency supplies and repair equipment is now scheduled for the end of next week. But for the men on Mir, it's going to be a long wait. And the Russians acknowledge that the crew is feeling the strain. Naturally, there's both physical and emotional stress. That's why we're hoping to let the crew get some rest. The Russians say that the situation on Mir has stabilized. But the question is how long the crew can work effectively in the present emergency conditions. Try and imagine a situation where it's really dark, it's getting really quite sticky and humid because the cooling systems have been turned off. You're groping around there all the time. It's probably quite smelly as well because the air extraction systems aren't getting rid of some of the, uh, the stuff which is naturally produced, so to speak. So it's going to be pretty uncomfortable for them at the moment. The biggest challenge is yet to come. Trying to repair Mir will involve completely unrehearsed spacewalks and grappling with cables and tools in bulky suits. That means not just discomfort, but real danger. Julian Mannion, News at 10, Moscow. Here, police looking for the...